So here's Henry, the green engine. Um, two parts, again, just like James. He's got a tender on the side and the uh, much larger engine. Now this is the first large scale, uh, you know, longer engine that I'm going to show you how to build, but I like it. Now, uh, just like my Tom's Tank engine and Percy thing, I don't have the right color uh, of these wheels, so if you uh, are so inclined, get the lime colored uh, circle pieces to match this color, because this sort of goes well with James, or you could just keep this color and change all the rest of it to green, so whatever you want to do. Let's build this part first. There, a two by three in the middle, just like that, and then a one by two plate in front. Now, this is the front of the engine right here. Now we want to do, we want to attach the wheels, so we have to take six of these little clamp pieces, and starting from the back over here, Put one like there, and one, one next to it, so they're just like this. Now we take another one, skip a, a stud, and then attach them, just like that. Okay, and then skip another one, and do it again. One there, and one there. Now before we go any further, right here, attach a, I'm not sure why I did this, this is probably, whatever, it doesn't matter, attach a black 1x2 uh, black plate right there, and then uh, now we need the little Harry Potter wands, little these pieces, and stick them across the uh, beams, like that, one there, one there, and one there like that. Now we can attach the wheels, but we're not going to do that quite yet. First we're going to take two of these little plates with the bumps in the, in the center, attach them to the front upside down like this, right? So they have the, the holes facing downwards. Now you want to take a black 1x2 brick with tech holes in them and attach uh, four green studs on into them on each side so that they represent the wheels the four front wheels that Henry has the guiding wheels okay we attach them there and now for the front we turn this upside down how did I do this uh oh <laughs> I may have missed a step oh wait that's right sorry you have to attach them like this so the two, the two pieces are, are like this. That's right. So they go front ways like that. Okay, now we can attach the wheels. Again, uh, I would prefer if I had uh, lime green like this color. Use, I would use that color. So we're going to attach one wheel here. And another. And another. And guess what? We're going to turn it over. And we're going to do three more wheels. One two, three. Okay, so now because Henry doesn't have a, uh, uh, he doesn't have one single drive wheel like James or the other engine, so he can't really use a Technic brick, we're going to try to simulate uh, what it looks like to have multiple drive uh, um, rods on the side. So I want to take these little android piece, droid arm pieces and attach them very lightly to the end right here. And then take another one. Now here's the problem. This this doesn't fit exactly. So you want to turn the wheel and kind of push it down as much as possible. And then clamp it right on there like that. So that kind of gives you the impression of drive wheels. Let's do the other one. I mean drive rods. That's what they're called. Attach this right here. Alright. Now I had an extra one. It would be beneficial to have make it look like there are more than just this. But... You know, you could do, you could do this. Oh, you could turn it upside down, and there you go. Kind of makes it look like there's more going on there. But anyway, that's that. That's the bottom piece. Now to make the top piece. So here are the pieces we need to make the top piece of Henry. Get out of here. All right. So we're gonna start off with. Hmm. What are we gonna start off with? Well, we got. We need this. So we're gonna start off with a black brick or any color with uh, studs on all sides just like this and attach it here so the bottom is facing that way 
Then we take two black one by two plates, I mean tiles, excuse me, and put them on just like that. Now for the front of Henry, attach a circle piece, two by two, and then a circular tile, blank, so that if you wanted, you could print a face and put it there. Okay, now next, we're going to make most of the body of this engine. Take one of these pieces, tile with a circle in the center, attach it to the center. And now just like these, we just want to just add them all together. So a green one by two, another green one by two, a red one by two, two more green one by twos, okay, and a red one by two. It's getting boring. Okay, and a green one by two. All right, and then we attach them here. So the red uh, one by twos simulate, you know, the rings going around the engine body. Now, we want to do take the top piece, this two by two piece with the hole in the center, and attach the hole to the top of that brick that we had. Now take two black one by one studs, attach them together. And you turn them upside down and place them in the whoops. And you place them in the hole. And this works better in a cylinder because Henry has a short funnel piece. And now for one of the uh, the uh, dome pieces, we put a green one by one stud in the very center, just like that. And we're almost done. Okay, now we get to the more complicated, and this could be built better, but whatever. This is what I came up with. Take a black brick again with studs on all sides so you can see through it. Same way, oh well, actually flip it around so that the back is facing that way. You want to take a any any one by one piece. I just took translucent green, another one by one uh, uh, brick, I mean plate, and attach them on the side like that. Then attach two green or lime green tiles onto the side like this. And then we're going to wedge it on here like this. This is not perfect. There we go. Okay. And then the other one on the other side. There we go. These are going to jut out a little bit, but they're fine. They're not hurting anyone. And just push them enough so that they cover this side of the engine. Right? Just like that. So you can still see the red piece. Okay. Now... What are we doing? I may have done this wrong. What did I do? Um, hmm. Oh yes, I remember. That's right. That's correct. Okay. So you attach them here. Okay. So now you've got this piece. Now we want to take a 2 by 4 Green, lime green plate and place it directly over that so that these these sections line up. That's the only way you can get this long piece in, in, in the front. And then we're going to take these pieces. First we're going to take a hinge piece. I think I used a hinge piece because I couldn't find another 1 by 2 uh, lime green brick, but it doesn't matter. Attach a green, a green 1 by 2 plate on top and then a red one by two on the bottom. And then what we want to do is stick it in this gap, turn it around, stick it in the gap. There we go. And this kind of simulates the cab area. And then just take two of these black uh, corner uh, slope pieces, tiny slope pieces, one by ones. Attach them on top. That makes the cab. And then one more uh, lime green uh, uh, stud attach it in the center just like that and you have most of Henry. Now uh, this what we want to do is just push these back so that they cover the hole and there you have it there's Henry or most of him and now we'll just make the tender and we'll be all set. Alright and here's how you make the tender for Henry. First we want to take a 2x4 lime green plate attach one of these pieces. It's a brick with holes on only two sides and then the regular stud on the center. Place it like that in the front so that the holes are facing both ways. Take a 1x3 plate 
and attach three lime green studs onto it and these simulate the wheels. These are wheels, I've done it again over here. And then attach them both to the sides of this brick, one like that, one like that, and make sure they're centered and that works for the tender. Now for the center, just take a red two by two plate, place it like that. Then take green one by two bricks, doesn't matter which way, but you just place them on there like that, make a square. And then for the coals on top, just take a black two by two, whoops, black two by two plate and place it on top. Almost done. A red one by two here. Two of these one by two lime green plates, stack them on top of each other and then right on top of the red, like that. And then two of these lime green uh, downward slopes, the one by ones, like that. And then we just do the same thing on the other side except for the top. We take a red one by two, place it right there. Two lime green one by twos on top of each other. A one by two red. And then a flat lime green one by two tile. And there you have it. There's the tender. It's a little bit different. I have Gordon's tender over here. It's a little bit different. Gordon's is more square, but Henry has this sort of weird indentation over here. Anyway, that's how you make Henry. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And, you know, that's... And if you don't want to make it ever again, don't make it. But this guy is pretty cool. I like this engine. I haven't figured out a way to attach them, but since they're on display, they just kind of have... They just kind of, you know, can sit there and they... They look pretty cool. And that's it. Uh, Cooper Studios. Mm.